I've done this take a hundred times. Run it up, big man, run it up! I'm perfectly happy. This time, we're in Athens, Greece. And you will get a view like no other. This is one of my favorite movies. <laughs> all right guys welcome back to another episode of three man abroad out and about in chile london which has become somewhat of a staple for tv shows and hollywood movies to come to life so we're going to go around london showing you some of the best spots that london has been used for filming all right from hollywood movies to even tv shows but just before we get into that, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, hit that bell notification so you don't miss out on future videos. And without further ado, let's go. All right, guys, a very common location here in London, Piccadilly Circus, commonly used in movies such as Fast and Furious 6 and Hobbs and Shaw. So check it out. Right everyone, for all you Assassin's Creed fans out there, here we are at the Grand Templar Hall. Now, in the movie, this is the last and final scene where the CEO of Abstergo was obviously assassinated by the Assassins. Now, in, the, in today's world, this is actually called the Freemasons Hall and it's based in Holborn. Do go check it out. Alright guys, another common location here in London known as Trafalgar Square, even used in the movie Wonder Woman when the war had finished and the celebrations are here, Wonder Woman came here to pay her respects to those who passed away. Check it out. Right everyone, for all you rom-com lovers out there, here we are at Queen's Walk. This is the location for the movie Love Actually, where Liam Neeson had a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with his son. Check out the view. Alright guys, so the next address for this location is 85 Albert Embankment or better known as MI6 HQ which is based on Vauxhall Bridge. So for those of you who are avid, avid James Bond fan, it will be very familiar with the movie Skyfall, specifically at the point where M overlooks the MI6 building being blown up by terrorists and it's actually based in Vauxhall Bridge. So come check it out. Right everyone, here we are at Canary Wharf Station, one of the locations used for the Star Wars Rogue One movie. Now, within the scene of the picture, the platform does look a bit shorter. That's all because it's done through video effects. No changes were made to the location or to the station. But here we are, check it out. Right everyone, so here we are, right behind me is Tower Bridge. Now, this monument was used in the movie Spider-Man Far From Home and within the scene, Spider-Man just defeats Mysterio and he's reunited with MJ, his recent love. Check out the view. All right guys, so we're here at our next destination, Liberty London, based in Great Marlborough Street adjacent to Argyle Street, okay? So this destination is used in the upcoming film, Cruella de Vil, a popular character in 101 Dalmatians and a film coming in May 2021, played by Emma Stone. So right now, Liberty London looks like an absolute but nevertheless, do come back here when the construction's done. It looks amazing, especially during Christmas time where you probably spotted it in our Monopoly video. Thank you. 
Right everyone, so behind me is where the movie 28 Days Later was shot for one of the scenes. Now, the main character Cillian Murphy wakes up from a coma and realises he is in apocalyptic London. Another interesting fact is he is also one of the main characters in Peaky Blinders and that series is also filmed in London. But check out the views. Alright guys, so we're here at our next spot in Greenwich, which would be actually a surprise for some of you who are actually Bridgerton fans. So Bridgerton House is actually set in the series as Grosvenor Square 1813, but come 2021, it's actually Ranger's House in Greenwich, so check it out. Right everyone, that's going to be it for today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. As always, don't forget to like, subscribe, share, hit the notification bell and comment down below and let us know if we've missed any locations that you know of. Leave it down there for us to check out. That's going to be it for today's video. Three Man Abroad out and peace.